listening to the spa. Fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. I want to get into it, man, you know. Let me tell you something, man. You do the everyday common for working people out there. These neighbors. You play the game when you working for them. Who are you talking to like that? Nasty. Talking to your ass. Damn, y'all look good in the government check. Yeah. And now, the spot on SoFloRadio.com. Bitches. And like, you know, rest in peace to the thing that allegedly was at hand at the at the loss of a uh, of a staple down here uncle al mm-hmm. was that okay you you coming over my airwaves and things of that right. nature and we don't have to worry about that it's online so you know i show love to you because you family but if you wasn't like you doing your thing and there's other stations doing this so right. you know i understand competitiveness that's where hip-hop came from exactly you know but another part of hip-hop is i'm gonna talk to you about this because I know you, this is your bread and butter, but at the same time, you won't hold back to point out what's whack. Mm-hmm. And what I was alluding to is um, people being different, you know, instead of biting the next person solely. Because could, I could be inspired from what y'all do over on SNDS, and I can see what they're doing on Strong Arm and still keep my own lane. Right. You know, like, that's why I got, you know, Press P off of here, because his sound is different. He's different in his own what, lane. Yeah, you know, and that's... That's something I feel like we should embrace more. Like even your sound, you you did something a post that you had on that. It might have been subliminal, thrown at somebody. But what you say, don't invite me, because if you don't invite me, if you don't know what to expect from me, because I'm not baseline kissing no ass yeah, or nothing yeah, like yeah. that. It, it wasn't also, it wasn't no subliminal. It was just you know just speaking out like a people, like I said they, they seem to think that okay, I'm gonna be this way. Mm-hmm. Or I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be closed in because I'm a quiet person. You feel me? Right. I don't really talk that much, but I'm straightforward. I could be very blunt at times. You feel me? But mm-hmm. that's that's what makes me, that's what makes me different from a lot of people because I'm not gonna tell you oh, your shit hard and your shit hate. You feel me? That's I don't do that shit because that shit come back on you. Right. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That's the same way of taking taking somebody money on some whack ass shit. Cause now you put your face on on something that's really not one hundred. That makes you not one hundred. You feel me? Regardless right. of what you're trying to do, trying to feed your family, all that, all that shit good. But when it comes down to it, your face is what matters the most. Yeah, all money ain't good money. Right. Now, Key was talking about that, um, where you would have artists like come to the club or whatever and throw you a couple dollars to give them a couple spins. But I know you probably looking at it like. Yeah, I see the money, but you also got to look at the artist as a partner in a sense, mm-hmm. you know, because obviously you pushing their stuff and it's your face on it, but, you know, they obviously get exposure on the other end. But how do you look at that dude outside of the obvious? You know what I'm saying? When they like him, man, like, let me get a couple plays. And the club is different. Mm-hmm. It's kind of hard for me to play something that I've never heard. Especially at the time of, of, of the night that I work, I don't work the early shift. Mm-hmm. I don't work the mid shift. When I come in, it's twelve o'clock. Everybody damn near start the drinking or Turn they're drunk up. already. Yep. So if my job as an entertainer, let alone just being a DJ, I have to entertain you. Right. I gotta keep the vibe going. Bring so, the party, meat. Right. So if I listen to it in the headphones and it's not, no, nah, I can't do nothing. Mm-hmm. We could talk. We could, you can go my number. All right. We could talk outside the club and see how we could make this work. But right now, I can't do it. A lot of niggas don't got mad at me about that. Fuck that. Just about that. Shit. Listen. You got a job. Though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> your little, your little, your little twenty dollars, thirty dollars, not gonna pay. You motherfucker, <laughs> five grand in bills every month. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Exactly. 